so it uh, it got really jumbled up for uh, for me to figure out like uh, feedback for which, and so that process is really uh, uh, what I say. It's a uh, really hard to track what actually going on. So um, previously, like uh, like say seven eight years ago, I used to do with the email review process as well, and the what we used to do is. Uh, we have one actual file, then and another is the change file. Then actually, we 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 track the changes by like different uh, different shaper app, like what actually changed there, and we need to figure out what is changed because there is no any um, like a actual scenario what is changed, what is implemented, and all. So this is the one of the oldest method, but so I still use this. And another is like peer programming. How many of us know about the peer programming? Okay. So in peer programming, like uh, what happened is, uh, let's say two or at least two, two developers side by side, and they do the programming in same same portion of the code. So with this, uh, what happened is we <coughs> don't know what actually is being written. So we were aware of what is. Uh, there, what change is there? So it is uh, generally easy to uh, review, and uh, <coughs> like four eyes are better than two eyes of this. So this is the that's it. Peer programming, but the peer, for peer programming, uh, we can still face some of the like uh, uh, cons. Let's say not good things is some of the developer don't want to do peer programming, right? Every time doing with uh, someone, some some might not choose that path. So uh, it is easy to work if the let's say if the friends or the, the developers were too friendly to work together and share the ideas and share it, each and every line of code. Then it, it is okay. Sometimes we might not get the actual exact scenario. Because I'm saying this uh, because one times what happened is I faced the same scenario. I have to uh, do the I have to do the uh, peer programming with one of my colleagues, but but then it, it didn't work out at, at the end because we are not uh, into the same piece, uh, and every time like we have to struggle with something, then. Uh, Eventually, what happened is okay. You come, you do this this portion. I will do this. Then we will come together and and then work together. Then jo join the board uh, along with. But in actual peer programming, that doesn't happen. Actually, two of the programmer have to sit to, uh, sit uh, together side by side and do the programming. And for each line of the code, discussion is there, and everyone is aware of what is uh, what is being written. Another uh, option for the code review could be the over-the-shoulder method. Sometimes we have done this uh, for the critical issues or for the uh, issues that those need to be solved immediately and one, one or two person is experts and other have to learn something or the, they were uh, monitoring something then we can use the over-the-shoulder method. And the uh, last one is tool assisted. So I'll be talking more uh, here about the tool assisted by using the crucible. <coughs> tool, in tool assisted, uh, we have some tools for the review purpose. So each and every commits, uh, we can compare each and every commits over there and uh, changes uh, from the actual file versus in each and every commits or the for at the last commit, we can compare each and every lines so uh, reviewing would be the easy tool assisted method. So common uh, coding tools in market are Crucible, Collaborator, Review Assistant, and Coder, and uh, uh, Gerrit, Code Striker. But I don't know all of them. But only code, only Crucible is the one that I'm familiar with. Uh, before going to the actual crucible code review process and some guidelines, uh, let's discuss some of the responsibilities that the reviewer or the person who creates code review should like, consider their responsibility. 
<coughs> people are actually quote saying to the reviewers, communicate with your reviewers so that it would be easy to track what is being done, or what is the change over there. We, we, we were aware of this change scenario because without knowing the actual, actually where is the change, or without knowing the change uh, aspect, we have to uh, say over the whole file and the changes and we are totally blind. And so just to minimize this, before giving any input to the, your uh, partners for the code review, you can do the uh, small communication, okay, this portion is changed, I have done these changes, so can you please verify? Then another is uh, make smaller pull requests. So instead of doing uh, instead of doing the whole uh, project, instead of sending the whole project at the same time for the review, just send module by module or function by function, small portion at a time you can send the send for review. Or the actually one functioning area, double one functioning area, then send it to the review. So with this, what happened is uh, every time we uh, deliver something with with the like, okay, this is the fine code, we can release this, or we have assurance of that instead of uh, coming to all changes at the same time, we, we can get feedback quickly. And uh, another is our changes during the code review. So this is for the writer. So when we send the and we when we send any code for a code review, then uh, after sending it, he's doing the changes so that uh, what happens is uh, one level of review is already there and you are doing an edit and the change. So for the reviewer, it would be hectic. Okay, this is again change. Instead, what you can do is if there is a changes necessary changes that need to be made, you can just inform the reviewer. Okay, hold on, please. I have some changes to make. You can review later on. So just. Communication is the key. Communicate uh, wisely. And uh, another is respond to all actionable code review feedbacks. Once we send the, uh, any part of the code for the review, we, we might get different uh, comments, different uh, feedbacks. So <coughs> if, uh, if anyone's saying, uh, okay, use this instead of this, or some feedbacks we have that we then uh, it's our responsibility as a writer to respond to those uh, feedbacks because what happened is once uh, someone sends any comments and that comment is not addressed, and then uh, that doesn't seem so good to for the reviewer. Like, uh, okay, I did the review, I said this, but uh, the person who did actually write the code didn't respond my uh, any uh, feedback or it doesn't listen to me, kind of feeling is there always. So what uh, what we can do is, uh, we have to uh, like reply to those comments, either we are doing this or not doing this. If we are not doing this or uh, if that portion of um, uh, feedback is uh, like, uh, is, uh, we cannot, if we cannot implement that portion of feedback, then we have to reply with the why, why this is not feasible for us to do here. So, so such communication uh, we have to discuss. And another is uh, code review are discussion, not di dictation. If someone uh, saying uh, or the saying something or giving us some feedback, that should be uh, we should take that as a like um, suggestion or discussion rather than the dictation. So no one is uh, forcing us to do anything. If we are not doing, we should uh, just reply to them why we are not doing or why this is not uh, applicable here. Or we, we might uh, have the better idea like uh, by doing some, by enforcing some changes, there might be the performance issue or the space issue, that anything can happen. So we just have to reply to feedbacks. And uh, there are some best practices that we can use when the code is in review or before the code is in review. Some of, uh, some of the <coughs> best practices for code review is that a code review will be created for all user stories and in Crucible, if we are using Crucible. Uh, in Crucible, once the implementation task of the user story is all completed. So since we, we, have, uh, we have broken down all the tasks, all the work into smaller stories, so if the all portion of the story is development for everything is completed, then we can create review. But uh, that might not always be true. Sometimes uh, we have uh, work for back-end developers, that front-end developers, 
once the work completed by back end developers, we can create the code review. But uh, it is uh, uh, it is good practice to keep a single code review for the overall task for each stories or story wise code review. It would be a uh, good practice. Uh, and there is to better facilitate uh, include appropriate revision into the each review. So each code review. For each code review, we have to mention each and every commit commits so that the, so that we will know the reason. Each and every uh, that commits, what happened in every commit, or we can just try it through first commit versus last commit. <coughs> and uh, another thing is like uh, I said, if if someone is reviewing the code, then they must have knowledge of what to look into. What is the changes over there? Uh, and uh, such as uh, uh, reviewers should uh, should think about the structure of the code and style. Are the writer uh, following some uh, standard or not? And uh, logic is correct or not? So after this portion of the code being implemented, is there any issue with the performance? So all these things need to be like uh, uh, in the mind of code reviewer. A separate code review task should be created for each story. So if we are using Jira, let's say, so it's uh, for every uh, story we have different tasks. So for the code review process also we can create a separate task. So that uh, uh, dedicated portion is um, like there for the review process. <coughs> and there is like a list of reviewer can be uh, there for the code review. We can include a whole team for in the code, code review, crucible code review, but actually task will be for the only one or two reviewer. Uh, with this, what happens is if we uh, if we add all team in the code review process, then everyone is aware of the changes or the work. Anyone can send the feedback if they have time, right? And the other thing is, if we are creating code review, then uh, there should be some deadline because uh, with this, we will, uh, reviewer will be notified that uh, they have to review within uh, two days or within uh, one day, what is, whatever is the deadline. <coughs> and the other is, any pro feedback provided during the review should be acknowledged by the author. Like, uh, we discussed earlier as well. So every feedback, so proper communication channel should be there for any action, for any you know, questions there should be answered or reply. Uh, if uh, if the review is uh, really uh, like uh, change is really big, we cannot uh, accommodate that change in the current uh, core. Then we can uh, always create different separate story or separate work for the to address the uh, review comments, right? So, <coughs> and the like, suggestion is never review for a longer time, more than an hour, more than an hour, or uh, so just continuously uh, reviewing something would not give any uh, better options, better answers of uh, understanding of the code. Because we will be just reading the code in the code review. And so those are the guidelines for uh, code review process and uh, by using Crucible how we will be uh, how we will do code review uh, we will see that in uh, so before that we will be discussing some using Crucible Crucible's simple workflow and the steps to create a review next slide uh, Atlassian Crucible is the code review solution or enterprise teams. So, uh, how many of us using Crucible for here? Okay. Right. So, Crucible allows uh, our development teams to catch major defects. So, we can uh, see major defects or uh, uh, improve code architecture and code standards. This could desire improvement without uh, need for any meeting. Like within the code review itself, we can communicate. So uh, we 
can change anything. Uh, if there is a comment, or we can just we have to just address those comments and do the necessary changes, and we can mark those uh, uh, suggestions as a result as well. If uh, there are small suggestions that we can incorporate uh, right away in our work, then we can just resolve them. <coughs> So Crucible is all about code reviews. It's no surprise uh, than that Crucible need access to your source code, right? Source code should be in any of these versions, like the Git and Subversion or any any of them. Uh, apart from this, uh, we can uh, we can like review the um, review files over there. For for those we we do not need any like commits for the files or we do not need to um, put those files in the subversion or git. <coughs> we can also do uh, those as well. So basic simple workflow from Crucible is like uh, <coughs> author creates uh, the review, then uh, reviewer comment on the code. If there is any comment on the code, then author respond to comment as we already discussed. Uh, if uh, that, that chain, that is uh, like uh, recursive, that goes to recursive, uh, multiple comments, multiple uh, suggestions, multiple then addressing, we can do that. At the end of then, uh, if uh, review is done, then reviewer uh, reviewer completes the review, then after that author closes the review. So these are the processes in the coding process using procedure. Uh, this is the simple templates uh, how we can create the code review in Crucible. So for creating code review in Crucible, we have to create review. I think I just demo this rather than going through the slides. I'll just quickly go through. So we, we, we create review. Uh, then uh, we, we, we can add multiple, um, uh, we can add the code from multiple options, like three comments, we can add code commits or we can add code from different branches and different uh, different repositories or we can just uh, attach any attachments over here then after that we have to choose the reviewer who is the reviewer for the that particular portion of the code so multiple reviewer can be choose and after choosing the reviewer we we can define all the remaining fields like we can set all the details uh, title and descriptions what should be the title for this this, this uh, review? Or if we are using Jira, then linked uh, that particular uh, review to the Jira. Or um, <coughs> write any objective if we have. Why why I created this review? So there should be an objective for that. Or we can add due date, reminder date, uh, when by when the code should be uh, completed uh, for the reviewer. Or if there any other, we can just add here. Uh, and uh, after that, we can just start review. By by starting review, uh, the reviewer actually can see the reviewer actually can see the review, and they got notified by email. Then uh, reviewer have to just review the portion of the code. Over there. <coughs> so something is uh, we just add file, change it. Whole process that we just went through, uh, and uh, choose the people who you want to do it, or uh, and uh, avoid uh, overloading the review. So this is saying that like we we should avoid the adding multiple reviewers, but we can add if we have dedicated reviewer for in our story or somewhere for a particular task. Those were the dedicated those need to review, but other can also review. So we can just uh, leave, anyone can watch option, so that anyone can join for the review process. Uh, by using uh, this tool, uh, we will get notification at the right, uh, below right end, like someone is reviewing. So with the help of that, we will, we will know please, someone, at least someone is watching our code and okay, review is ongoing. And uh, another uh, advantage by using the code review is, uh, reviewer, uh, how much time reviewers spend in our code that is converted into percentage of uh, review, percentage review completed. So we will get uh, that information, how much percentage for the review is completed. 
So after that is 100 percent, or if you complete the uh, review, then uh, author actually will close the tickets. Close the so uh, another thing is we can just discuss multiple uh, in multiple chain, address someone so that they they will fight. So um, this is a good review. Right away, because we might be doing from day one, right? Oh, so before moving to the demo, do we have any questions? Or we should take the questions after day one? Okay, all right, thanks. No so far, not, no. After Once you complete the demo, there might be so many. We might have questions after day So uh, here I have my portion of the code that I already added in principle. Uh, this is JZTest, uh, this is my repository. Uh, by uh, start 